Odd Laran doesn't mean anything either, right? Okay, welcome back. So today we have a problem from Brazil 2020 Olympiad where there's a group of N people and as is very classical, some of them always lie and some of them always tell the truth. And someone can ask um, any person to for like, okay, you have this set of people, um, are they always lying or are they always... How? Bleh. <laughs> truth, do they always tell the... I can't speak. Um, is the number of truth tellers in this set even or odd? And then you get a response and you want to figure out how, what's the minimum number of questions you need to ask to figure out what's going on and or is it even possible because for some pairs and comma K it might not be doable. So I think this the first thing I can do is like sort of cut out the flavor text. <laughs> I'm sorry I really like the flavor text but really if you ask um, person P the set A their response um, well, okay, let's treat each person as an element in F2 where, uh, do I want one for truth or zero for truth? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Well, we'll say one for truth. If you ask person P the set A, their response is like P plus the sum of A and A, uh, P plus 1, mod 2. So really, you can think of this as just saying that, you can think of the queries as sampling a set of either K minus 1 or K plus 1 elements. So it's either k minus 1 or k plus 1. It's k minus 1 if p is in a, and k plus 1 if p is not in a. And taking their sum. So that means this is really a linear algebra problem. And we want to say when this is possible. So now, if k is odd, if the task is impossible. Because um, replacing every x variable x changes no responses. So if k is odd, you cannot do the task period. Because every time, you know, you can invert the truthfulness of every person and none of the responses change. So because you can't distinguish between the two cases, uh, you can't tell the number of people. You can't distinguish between everyone lying and everyone being truthful. So, that's kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. So now we want to say, if k is even, it seems like it should be possible. And the question is, what's the... I get to design system of the equations in which the number of coefficients that is equal to 1 needs to be so and so number. And the question is, um, when can I do that? System of equations over F2. Wait, doesn't the problem say it's impossible? Wait, what? So, so the original wording looks like the original wording was like A, determine when it's possible, B, when it's possible, show... something else. No, no, that's... is that what the problem says? Am I looking at that? No, it doesn't say that. Right? <laughs> Okay, back to our schedule programming. Then what is on screen? Oh, no, for each pair, determine the minimum number of 
questions needed or prove that the task is impossible. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Uh, Warren has a good point, actually. If n equals k, you also die. <laughs> because... Uh, well, actually, do you, do you die with k equals n equals 1? I, I guess that case doesn't matter. Yeah, if k n equals k, you also die. Um, if n equals k plus 1 and k is even, this should be winning, right? This is a pretty classical thing. Yeah, you can, you get the system x one plus you get this data for i i, so you can compute the sum and hence each number. If n equals k, do you die? I think so, because you can only ask one. There's only one question you can ask, and there's more than two possible. Um, things you want. <laughs> but like, you can ask everyone. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You are right, you are right, you are right, you are right. Um, sorry, I, I, my indices are off. What? Okay. Is there a case in which you are... No, I lied. If n equals k, and k is even, it's still winning. And for linear algebra reasons, or also just for like ordinary, you always need to ask at least n questions. I think it definitely should be the case that... Um, <laughs> that's enough. Okay, okay, let's just, let's just try to go for the gold, okay? I think we can just kill the pawn. Um... Let's see. Okay, well on the first query, I'm gonna query x1 through xk minus 1. And then I'm gonna do. Um, for i equals 1 up to. For i from k up to n. So basically, what I'm trying to do is get it down to a k by k square array, which I think I should be able to do. Um, yeah, this should work. Okay, so... Da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay. So x2 plus xk. Uh, let me write this out more properly. This is a good problem. Okay, so we'll take this and then um, we'll do the same thing up to... without x. You know, let me just write it this way. Okay, so the first k queries are this, and the other k queries are um, plus xi for i equals k plus 1 through n. So the first thing gives you a square so k by uh, k plus 1. The first thing here gives you a k by k array. It's the matrix um, corresponding to what zeros on, on. Yeah, zeros on the diagonal, ones everywhere else. And this is known to be solvable. Uh, if you've taken any class from me on linear algebra, you've probably seen this matrix. This is like one of the. <laughs> the matrix is not important. The point is that you can solve this system really easily. If you haven't seen this system before, let me show you what it looks like. With, um, I need an odd number, right? what I need. With five variables, you're solving the system like... 
Yeah. So if you've never seen the system before, this is what it looks like with five variables, and the way you solve it is you add everything together, and now you get the sum, so you're just fine. Um. So okay, so that will let you compute all the values of x1 through xk, and then after that you can extract the other values just by querying this. Um, I guess I actually want xk minus 2, then k minus 1. This is even k is at least 2, which is fine because it is even. Okay! Wait, that's not it. Um, Okay, so this should work. So, when it's possible you only need n moves, it's possible when k is odd. Write this up. <laughs> I saw the reflection of the top. <laughs> I'm too young to be bald. Jeez. Why is Atmo 2021-3 so easy? This gets xi. Uh, moreover, at least n queries are always necessary. This is vim. Algebra is strong here. 